think it will add a lot of character to any diorama, simply because of the humour in it and the humanity in it as well. Hello, this is VJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm going to be looking at this Copper State Models 35th scale resin figurine of a British um, Petty Officer, I think. Was it Petty Officer? He is. And it's Petty Officer Relief, it's called, simply because this guy is relieving himself. Okay, so let's have a look at the top camera and you'll see what I mean here. So there he is. He's next to this Lanchester armoured car, but you can use this for any of the World War I type uh, dioramas. It doesn't need to be near a vehicle, but it does come with this uh, trench coat, which has been um, draped over this box. So if you get the Lanchester, it will fit straight over. If not, you can always just build up a box that he can throw his trench coat over while he's doing his business. So quite interesting already. Now let's have a look inside. Now the Copper State models resins are very, very sharp, very well sculpted. Now let's open it up from this bag. Now resin is a material which is uh, hand cast. So it is a little bit more expensive than a injection molded figure, but simply because there's a lot more um, uh, labor involved because they are all hand cast. And you'll see that there's not a lot of components to them because you can get a lot of detail already simply from the casting. Okay, so there's the folded up trench coat. It's really nicely sculpted, quite a natural uh, drape on that. And then here we have the figure. We've got the head. Here's a neck piece here. So that just fits inside. Let's see how nicely that fits. And then this arm just goes over here. So that's him grabbing hold of his, his uh, you know, his thing. And then this one, I can't actually fit that in there because it's got a little bit of a, a mold mark on the top, which you will need to cut off and that would just fit over here. Okay, so you can see how he's undone his pants and there's a little bit of anatomy, which you can sort of see there, but not really. And it's probably really accurate because he must be really cold uh, because he's got his jacket. And the other thing that shows cold is a little bit of shrinkage, but that's something else, isn't it? So we'll have a look at the, the sculpting there. Very nice indeed. So let's have a bit of a, a zoom in just so we can see some of those finer details. All right, let's make sure I get that, that focused on the right point. Here we go. It's going to be too far. Oh, I'm still going the wrong way. Here we go. All right, so there's the jacket or the trench coat. So it's really nice. You can see the, uh, the sleeves here and then the pocket flap then just how it's been draped over a box. And the other great thing about resin too is if you want to manip manipulate that a little bit, you can put that in hot water and you will be able to flex it slightly so it does have a bit of fit. But failing that, that should be easy enough, there's a collar, to adapt a, uh, a different box or uh, crate if you don't want to put it on the Lanchester armoured car. Okay, so that's the jacket. Okay, let's have a closer look at the actual body of the if you can see how natural all those folds are. There you go, you can see a little bit of what I was talking about, the shrinkage. Okay, I won't focus on that. Some of you might get offended. But you can see how nicely done all the, the clothing is. All the folds. Got the, uh, the strapping across the, uh, the bottoms of the legs for the trenches. I don't know if that's actually called putties, but uh, that was the same sort of idea, just to keep all the, the mud from going inside the, the boots. And then you have the boots themselves as well. So there's some, whoops. So there's some of the, uh, the casting uh, leftovers. You just need to trim those and just give that a light sand. Okay, and from there, actually here's the head. Lots and lots of character in that face. And of particular interest is with castings like this, You'll see how sharp the ears are because it is amazing i mean even a small feature like ears just by having that undercut at the back makes them so much more realistic and that's probably going to be easier to see if i fit that onto the torso there and you can see how he's just looking down and the goggles across the top of his peak cap 
beautifully sculpted. Oh, and off he goes. All right, so I guess that means we're going to move on to the other parts, which is going to be the arms. Okay, so there's one arm there. And the other. Okay, so there you go. So that is my open box review of the Copstow models. Petty Officer Relief. So, just a guy relieving himself. It's one of those very natural functions that we all have to do, and I think it will add a lot of character to any diorama, uh, simply because of the humour in it, and the humanity in it as well. So this is it, very nicely sculpted, resin cast 1 to 35th cut. Thank you for watching.